You won't become rich as a musician, Sergei Roldugin's mother used to always say to him. But on this point, she wasn't exactly right. Since his student days, Sergei has had a best friend. This friend used to protect him from the bad guys. The friend met his wife through Sergei, and Sergei became the godfather to their first child. Could Sergei's wealth have something to do with this friendship? Well, this friend is not just any friend. With Vladimir Putin's success begins the story of Sergei's wealth. Putin is voted president, and over time, Sergei becomes the owner of two offshore companies registered in Panama and the Caribbean. This happened upon the instruction of Bank Russia, said to be Putin's personal bank. One of the offshore companies suddenly gains influence over the finances of Russian media corporations. Media which, in the meantime, has become full of praise for Putin. The other company gains influence over a manufacturer of military trucks. The company profits from public funds and from the wars that Putin wages. Sergei and his representatives' money is kept in Switzerland and Cyprus. It sometimes comes from very questionable channels, but the bankers gladly accept it. As a head of state, Putin cannot just open a secret bank account. So having a rich friend comes in pretty handy for Putin. Did you hear about the dream wedding of Putin's daughter? It was held at a ski resort that received money from one of the companies connected to Sergei. Sergei Roldugin and Vladimir Putin are best friends, a friendship which is worthwhile for both of them.